Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Sean Burton for the Las Vegas Informer. We're over here at the Professional Fitness Institution with the man himself, Charles Ware, who's going to tell us a little bit about what PFI does and how it can help you become a better personal trainer. Now, Charles, PFI's been around for how long? Since uh, September 11, 2003. Okay, since 2003. Now, uh, back in 2003, what, uh, what made PFI become what it is right now? I mean, what, what got you guys started and how far have you come from then until now? You know, it's a great question. Back in 2003, the owners of the company wanted to really start an institution that focused only on personal training and massage therapy. Okay. And so what happened was, is they got together, they decided to develop some curriculum, mm -hmm. bought a facility, we actually started out with three facilities, one in Kansas, one in Missouri, and then one out here. Okay. That's what we started with. And then as we started to get more student population, we saw a need to increase the amount of education that we offer okay. and to increase the duration of education. Okay. And in doing both of those things led us to now a full certificate diploma program okay. and an associate's degree. Uh -huh. And then in 2008, when I came in and took over, we decided to branch that out to different institutions. Nice. So now we have about 21 institutions that teach our PT program. Okay, so you have 21 places that'll that'll actually do what PFI is doing here right now. And these are these are all over the United States? All over the United States and Canada, actually. We have two schools in Canada. Nice, nice. So what made you guys choose Vegas out of all places? You know, Vegas is great weather, number one. Right. Number two, right. it's easy to get to and from. Mm -hmm. Flights are relatively cheap. And if you look where we're at location-wise, mm -hmm. right across the street from Sunset Park mm -hmm. and Wayne Newton's house. Yeah. Uh, but primarily everything that we need to host a boot camp, mm -hmm. which is our capstone event, and to educate personal trainers is right here in this location. Right on, right on. See, that, that makes a lot of sense. Now, with PFI, you guys have some very unique instructors that come on and help out with the case. You guys got you got guys like Tommy Boyer Kendrick. I mean, how did you how did you land Tommy Boyer Kendrick? Well, what was great about that was I walked into that situation, so I, I was lucky. But before I was able to get a hold of him, he actually came on as a friend of the previous president and executive director, and he knew Tommy from his training days back when he trained Shaquille O'Neal mm -hmm. and Stephon Marbury, who was training the okay. Olympic team. But uh, him and along with some of other celebrities like Beth Horn, mm -hmm. Jay Cutler, Ron Williams, we were yeah. able to actually promote ourselves mm -hmm. well enough to where they recognized they wanted to be involved with us. Nice, nice. Okay. And along with him, who else do you have on your staff? You know, what we've been doing recently is uh, we've been including a lot of the Las Vegas locals. Okay. Um, Alex Chavez and Gerald Mays has been here. Really? Both students went through the program mm -hmm. and been trainers. Uh, for quite a while after they exited the program. Yeah. And then we added in some uh, members of PTA Global, which is a New York yeah. certification education company. Added some of those instructors because they're mm -hmm. dynamic instructors like we always like to have. Right. Quality. Uh -huh. And uh, it's really improved what we do at boot camp. Yes, and I like what you said about quality, but the quality, it makes a huge, huge difference. Because um, I, I attended PFI twice. Yeah. And the first one was, it was good, I got my foot in the door. But it, there was a little bit of lacking. I came by the second time, and I mean, now I'm business owner, writer, right. everything. And it's all because of the difference that PFI made from the first time to the second time. Now with that difference, how is PFI progressing today? You know, when we first started out, we really looked at basic competencies for personal trainers. Mm -hmm. But what was happening is if students were coming into our program with those basic competencies. Mm -hmm. So they were looking to us to be the consummate education professional that we are. Mm -hmm. and so we had to add more rigor to the curriculum, we had to add more rigor to the uh, practical application mm -hmm. of what we do, and we did that by adding in new instructors and new programs. So by the time you came through, mm -hmm. we kind of had refined and perfected what mm -hmm. it was we could do for you as a personal trainer, which was expand your skill set yeah. and make you into what you are today. Exactly. A successful trainer. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I really do owe a lot of what I had. I had fantastic mentors, I had really good instructors, I had the experience, and you guys really surround people who all want the same thing, they're bringing up the same vibe, and that takes them just from average to by far above average, because they're, they're surrounded by the success, they're surrounded by the positivity, right. and you obviously yield great results. I mean, I don't know how many guys, how many people have you had graduate and, and succeed? Countless? Uh, that's, that's a hard number. I'd say since I've been involved, since 2005, uh -huh. at least 3,500, maybe even 4,000 students. Out of those, we can just assume that probably half of them are being successful. Mm -hmm. um, we run out, out of our programs about 500, 600 students per year. Okay. So we see quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people like to ask me, and I'm sure they ask you, 
how do you how do you get into personal training? And let's say if somebody is a Vegas local or not a Vegas local, how do they get involved with PFI? You know, that's so funny you asked that, Sean. I had to call this morning, like okay. I do most every morning. Okay. Um, I was driving the vans around and someone saw the van, has a number on it, they called in and said, what do you do? Tell them what we do as an education institution. Automatically sparks their interest. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to be a personal trainer. They ask a few questions. Number one, is it a viable industry? Can I get a job? Mm -hmm. Can I make some decent money? Which the answer to all these questions is yes. Yes. You most definitely can. Yes. Um, right now, this Las Vegas location doesn't actually do the classes here on location oh, outside really? of boot camp. No, what we did was we shuffle and funnel everybody into our online program. Mm -hmm. And so that students can go in and finish their program online. Mm -hmm. And then when they come out to boot camp, that's where all the action happens. And so they get all the theoretical application <clears throat> online and then they come out and do the practical application for a day. But I mean, that makes a lot of sense. You separate both sides of both sides of the industry and you get your education out of the way and then you get into your actual in the field type of training. Right. I mean you know a lot of places don't do that. No. Because normally it's you get a certification, you pass, and that's it. You know, good yeah, luck. Then what happens, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then you go you get into the corporate world and you realize like, well, I don't think this is really gonna work out, and then you know, then you're back to where you were. Right. Now Anyone can join this. Obviously, you guys are very, you're very accepting. Anybody who wants to learn can come to learn. Okay. How, how can we get people to, to give PFI a try and see what they can do? Where do they have to go? You know, the best and most important thing is now with the aspect of social media, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, if you connect with any one of those with Professional Fitness Institute, you'll be directly connected to where you need to go mm -hmm. to get information about the facility and what we do. And there are also our webpage, which is actually change now it's pci training.edu.capstone okay so okay it it's okay. changed a little bit so uh, one of the things that a lot of people do is when they type in i want to be a personal trainer mm -hmm. luckily professional fitness institute comes up with they the can google training. they can google search that and it comes up like comes that. up automatically okay yeah. good 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 nice okay so you've had a lot of uh revolutionary leaders who have come in here and they've talked one of them being Dr. Parker, who happened to have a book out called Training the Trainer. Right. Well worth the money. Right. But he talks about you in this book. Yeah. And he tells a little bit about your story. You had a little bit of a roller coaster until you until you found it. Tell tell us what it was like going from where you were, going through all those obstacles, and now where you are now. Yeah, it's you know it's a long story, but I'll try to make it short. Um, you know, I started out as a computer science major. I'm a real computer geek and computer nerd, right. and, and still do that today. But uh, yeah, as I was running in track practice, I ran track in college, mm -hmm. um, I tore my Achilles tendon, mm -hmm. and all the athletic trainers were unfortunately at the football team mm -hmm. at their practice, and there were no athletic trainers to help me. Mm -hmm. And so once I got back to the athletic training room and, and kind of talked to some of the individuals there, I told myself, I don't want that to happen ever to anyone else, yeah. is to not be cared for. And so I enrolled into the athletic training program, mm -hmm. and then I immediately uh, started those classes. And as I was in those classes, Someone came in and said, we need a sub for step aerobics class at 6 o'clock in the morning. And of course, no one raised their hand. Oh, yeah, step step aerobics. 6 in the morning. 6 in the morning, you know, it's no fun. And uh, the instructor just said, how about you? Because I was sitting up front. And I said, yeah, why not? And that was on a Thursday, on Friday and Saturday. I went and got athlete certified as a group X instructor. Mm -hmm. Started teaching on the following Monday. That was my introduction into the world of fitness. Boom, just yeah. like that. Yeah. And now you're and now you're the head of the department who is producing thirty five to four thousand yeah. people yeah. a year yeah. in the industry. Yeah. And that's amazing, man. That's amazing. That is amazing. So anybody can go Google Professional Fitness Institution or just Google how do I become a personal trainer. Yeah. You'll find all the information. Get in touch with it. This has got to be the best thing that's ever happened to me in my professional career. I've had the I've had the opportunity to meet a bunch of amazing people, right. and now I now I'm now I'm writing, now I'm photographing. I'm doing a I have a position on a board of advisory for a fitness magazine from where I, where I am. I have my own business, and I mean things just keep on getting better. And it, it it's really it's really because of PFI. It, well, it I, really is. And I appreciate the that. first time the first time it was it was it was me and maybe not so much PFI. And the second time it was literally all PFI, all the instructors, all the mentors. Just everything made this possible. Right. And it's, it's all thanks to you, man. Hey, thank appreciate you. It. I appreciate it. Yes, Everyone man. wants to be you, so if they uh, can get to where you are, that's a good thing. I'll, I'll, so, uh, thank uh, you. Thank you for your time. No man. problem. Thank you very right. much. Thank you, Sean.